Hello everyone, so I'm going over Operation Expansion in this podcast today. So what Operation Expansion is about is about setting up a network of rock and metal disciples, bases, and clubs started at different high schools and colleges. Mainly I'm focusing on colleges right now, but I have some people who can help me with the high school situation. Um, the reason I'm starting off with colleges is because colleges seem more like, I think it would be a better place for it to, to start off. And then maybe I could focus on high schools later. But the point of it is to have an RMD base, a Rocky Mountain Disciples base or club, at a college. And then, you know, like, and then have it spread to different places, different colleges. What I mean, that's what I mean by places. So, for like example, let's just bring up a really well-known university. Harvard, for example, or Princeton. So it would be like RMD... H U or Rock and Roll Disciples of Harvard University. It would be something like that. And you know So like that would just be one like group of metalheads and rockers that go to that university. But there's other universities within like a ten mile radius, a twenty mile radius, a thirty mile radius of Harvard and other schools like that where you can like where we can have networks, and we know who the metalheads are, who the rockers are from each college. So, like, if we know who everyone is from each college and university, then we can have a better system of communication, a better system of networking. The reason for that, a good reason for that, would be it would keep us keep us in better communication with each other. We would know who's who, and those who are in high school, it actually it could actually um, be something good because then you can talk to people who go to those colleges and universities, ask them about those colleges and universities and what they're like. The other reason is for those who are already in, in the university and colleges, we know who each other. We know who's who, who's a metalhead, who's a rocker. We know who um, is a rocker and a metalhead at different universities and different colleges. And with that, we could communicate with one another, and then we can throw parties. We can throw events and gatherings together, you know, we can also form our own bands in our own separate clubs, and then we can have the bands come together, all the different bands come together and, like, play performances, or, like, we can have, like, a DJ party and play, like, rock and metal DJ music, and then, like, have people, like, have parties to that, and, you know, have a big party and, like, you know, it, like, big social gatherings and stuff like that, and, you know, have a good time, and at the same time, you know, be in communication with one another, and then, you know, like, if we're going to go on into the, re into the business world, we can set up, we can, this line of communication can help us better because we know people from different schools and some of these schools might have the same hobbies besides rock and metal music. Like, for example, I'm into film, so if I meet another rocker and metalhead who's into film, then I can keep in communication with them and we can make movies and stuff like that and films and have rock and metal music, an audio track, a soundtrack in that film. So that's the overall purpose of this, is one, it actually it actually uh, fulfills the mission statements, both mission statement statements actually, because one, it's to fulfill, it's to unite rockers and metalheads closer. It does that by bringing more people together, whereas if you're just on a college campus, and you know some people on your college campus, that's it, that's all you know, but if we have this system, then you know people from colleges within like five to ten miles from you, or five, or 20, or 20 miles, 30 miles, 40 miles, etc. The point is, but you know those people though. You know who those metalheads are. You know that they exist. So you can hang out with them too. You can go to their colleges. They can go to your college. You, you can also just go somewhere else. You don't have to go to each other's colleges. You know, you can like have host gatherings. You know, it'd be more social. You know, there's a type of program already in colleges. There's a type of club in colleges. It's like Theta Alpha Omega. Don't don't count me on that one. I'll I'll look that up and I'll fix the situation there. But when I was in college, when I was in, when I was when I was doing a college visit, there was a group just like that. And this group has over like has clubs in over four hundred different colleges and universities. You know that could be us too. That could be the Rock and Roll Disciples in over four hundred different universities. You know, so like for people who might think you know oh this is impossible. It's it's definitely possible. It's definitely possible because it's been done before. 
Now, even if it wasn't done before, I would still try very hard to make it be the first. But, you know, we already have like another example of a group who has done this and has been successful. And I know us being rockers and metalheads that we can be just as successful as that as well. So that's the overall point of this. And I think it's a very good point. I think it's a good way of getting the RMD out into the real world. I think it's the it's really like the first like real thing to try to make like us get out there into the real world and then we can plan more stuff when we get more bases together. The college I'm going to I already know some metal heads. So I'm gonna like try and um, get people together and try to form my own R and D club at my college. So I want the same thing to be done for other people who are going to colleges and universities. As for high school, um, the problem with high school is there are some really ignorant, arrogant people in high schools out there. So the problem with that is you can try, but you might encounter some resistance. You might encounter some like opposition. You know, you might go. You might encounter them haters. You know, but at the same time, you can tell them to f the haters. You can tell the haters to piss off. You know, you know, you don't have to take their crap either. You know, you can. You, you, and this is also a time where you can step up, fight for what you believe in, because you know you are a metalhead. You know you're a rocker. So don't let these posers tell you otherwise. Don't let these hipsters tell you otherwise. Don't let these jocks, these high school stereotype groups tell you otherwise. And even if they try to like bash you down, you know, fight them back with words, you know, mo mostly with words here, and try to say like, no, this is not true, you know, you're, you're full of crap, or you know, you use much harsher words than that probably that I'm using on the internet, and, um, you know, I guess it's just, it's just in terms of high school, but you can't let these people bring you down, you gotta be strong, you gotta let the music help you out there too, because I believe that the music can help you out there as well, because that's what I use rock and metal music for sometimes, I use it to motivate me, like if I'm working out, by the way, great workout music, but you know, if I'm using, like, if I'm working out, I'm using rock and metal music, why? Because it's the kind of music that pumps me up. So use that music to kind of pump you up too. That's what I'd say about it. Um, now, like, that's, again, with high schools. And the reason why I also bring it up is because we actually tried to have this work out. I guess the, the dude, his name is uh, Zarov. And uh, I'm sorry for mispronouncing your last name, dude. But, like, he tried doing this and, like, a bunch of people at his high school, a bunch of just like, like very discriminating re retards basically. And the funny thing about it is, we live in a world where like, we claim to not be discriminating against one another and to not judge a book by its cover, but the real truth of the matter is, you know, like, that's definitely not true at all. And just because we don't discriminate, there isn't, much, there isn't as much so-called racial discrimination, even though we're not even separate races to begin with. But even though there's not as much, uh, uh, not as much racial discrimination as there is in the United States, I don't, I can't, I can't say for the rest of the world, but in the United States, we somehow get the idea that there isn't as much discrimination around. But discrimination comes in all different forms. But people don't realize that because the first thing they hear when they think of discrimination is they think of racial discrimination. Which is not true at all. There's different types of discrimination. You know, we're discriminated against because we listen to rock and metal music. And stupid, ignorant people out there just think, oh, that's devil music. But, you know, that's really far from it. I mean, the, the ignorance is overwhelming. The stupidity is overwhelming. But yet, people don't learn. They don't want to, they'd rather just cover up their ears and go, la, 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 I'm not listening, la, 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 I'm not listening, I'm stay in my own little fantasy world of club party, of club party music, about how to dance on the dance floor, and party rock anthem, and, by the way, party rock anthem is really overplayed on the radio where I live, and, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but, like, that song really ticks me off, because it's just, like, overplayed. And that's one thing I want to try to do with radio stations is not have them play, overplay, like, one or two songs over and over and over again. 
I swear I could ever I think I heard Party Rock Anthem one day played like three times in the radio and it's like are you kidding me with this so that's another thing uh going with radio just really quickly with radio here like uh yeah let's let, if we're gonna have our own radio stations but our own rock and metal radio stations let's let's really not try to have that because then you're just gonna ruin the song that's what happened with this song and like the sex thing I know it's on they got basically basically just got like ruined because you overplayed them to the point where they're not even good anymore they just suck and it's like annoying to hear it so like I think the radio stations out there, like rock and metal radio stations, should like take note of that. Take like you know, be like, you know, let's not overplay our songs all the time. Let's not overplay certain songs because we shouldn't. Um, the other thing, going just getting back to this, uh, rock and metal disciples base of operations. So the uh, the operation is called Operation Expansion, and um, when I go to college, I'm gonna start one up there, and. Quick note to keep here, we must have at least one leader for each club. One leader. And if this leader, let's say, is a senior, then you have to find a way to get a new leader. Or otherwise, it was not going to work out. We have to work on that. And uh, if you're a freshman and you're a leader, you know, at the end of the year, you get to decide. I, I'm thinking you should you should be allowed to stay if you want to, or you should be given the right to stay, unless you decline. Unless you decline, and you're like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I want, I want someone else to be a leader, and you could hand choose. You can handpick them, or you can vote for them. And that's what I think we should do. We should have some kind of like voting system, where like we all get together and we pick a couple candidates or people who want to be like a leader or like have a central committee or something like that, and like have like some kind of a thing like that. And it, it, see, it's, it's very complicated because I haven't really thought this out yet, but we, I know we have we need to have at least like one person in a leadership position or some kind or taking some kind of a leadership role in a way. So like a project manager in businesses, a project manager. So um, that's that. And so this is more from Operation Expansion and uh, different colleges and universities, you know, just um, just expand, you know. And like have different rock and metal disciples groups everywhere and if this works out then we can all like communicate it'd be great we all know who the metal heads are we all know who the rockers are we can identify them we know who they are you know we can throw events we can throw gatherings together at different colleges and universities you know we can throw parties together and you know it'd be great because then we can rule the college scene we can rule the university scene ourselves we don't need to be isolated this is why I'm doing this because we don't need to be isolated like that. Let's have our own get-togethers. Let's let's have them be massive and big. You know, we don't need to be isolated just because we go to a different college than I than another person. Just because I go to a different college than someone else or I go to a different university than someone else doesn't need I need to be isolated from them. I hope you all take this very seriously and uh, peace.